A very good day to you people. My name is Mohit and guys today I'm going to show you the difference between a uh, mouse over event and a rollover event. Cool. Guys uh, what you see in front of you is actually a movie clip and uh, if you look in the properties panel I've called it MC. Keeping things very simple. Okay. But this movie clip is actually hosting yet another movie clip inside it. A child movie clip. Alright. So basically it's a movie clip inside a movie clip. That's all. Let me go to the root level by uh, clicking on that arrow. So, uh, let me place this movie clip out here. Guys, you see the movie clip is right now on layer number one. Layer one. Let me click one more layer and let me call it uh, after double clicking on the layer AS3 because I'll be placing my action script out here. Let me right click, go to actions and start coding. Okay. So MC dot add event E capital listener L capital okay and uh, the event that I'm gonna create is a rollover event. Cool. So I'm gonna say mouse dot mouse event dot roll underscore over all caps guys right and then a comma and the name of the function let me call it uh, my function I can't think of a better name right now right now let's define the function so function my function uh, uh <coughs> function my function let's pass on the event that'll be event colon mouse event right and then a colon void not calculating or returning any value guys curly braces enter enter and then the, the function all I'm gonna say in the function is uh, trace mouse over that's it that's all I want to write inside the function a semicolon time to test the rollover event guys let me say a control and an enter okay guys pay attention what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the mouse across this uh, movie clip from the right to the left and notice what happens guys as soon as I enter this uh, movie clip area you see the message mouse over in the output panel okay and it appears just one as I take the mouse across the object fine now guys what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the rollover to a mouse over I'm sure most of you are familiar with mouse over not with rollover so a control enter and let's see what happens now I'm gonna repeat the same procedure so taking the mouse pointer across the movie clip so one two three right so basically the message has appeared three times what is happening is uh, <coughs> the message gets displayed when the movie clip is entered and when the child movie clip is uh, moused over and when you exit the child movie clip so basically uh, it's it's uh, honoring the child inside the parent the child movie clip is being honored okay that was not the case earlier when I'd use the uh, rollover uh, event so that's the basic difference guys uh, when you use a mouse over and you have a movie clip inside a movie clip it may not be the ideal solution okay but there is a way let's say uh, you just want to use the mouse over for whatever reason you don't want to use the rollover or maybe you're not even aware of the rollover so how could I actually uh, this should be a workaround yes there is actually so let me show you how to do it all you need to do is you need to say mc dot uh, mouse children is equal to false right now guys that should take care of it it will treat the movie clip as if it does not have any movie clips inside it it does not have any children movie clips let's test and be sure right 
so guys as you can see in the output panel the message appears just once right so guys we have understood the difference between a mouse over and a rollover event next let's see what is the difference between a mouse click and a double click and how we can actually achieve that right okay so the first thing uh, that I'll be doing is let me just uh, select the whole chunk of code and then let me apply a block comment right okay so the double click and the single click events uh, that I'm gonna talk about that I'm gonna show to you I'll be using the same movie clip as the example guys I'll be using the same movie clip again right So again, uh, let me start coding. I'll say <coughs> MC dot add event e capital listener L capital as well, and then we have a mouse event dot click. When I say click, I mean a single click in all caps right and then uh, let me give it a function name the function that needs to be executed on the click let me call it function one or let me call it click handler that's better right then guys let me define the function click handler let me pass on the event and the braces that's the syntax so that'll be event colon mouse event right and uh, colon void as uh, we'll not be calculating returning a value and then we have the curly braces inside which uh, I should be writing the function okay so let's just say trace a message that says uh, I have been clicked cool a semicolon guys I'm, I'm sure you're familiar with uh, a click event a mouse click event it's, it's pretty routine it's used uh, a lot and I mean a lot right still let's check it out so guys, uh, every time I click on this uh, movie clip, it displays a message that says, uh, I've been clicked, I've been clicked. Right? Cool. Let me go back now and let's see what if I actually make this click double click. that's double underscore click okay do you really think it'll work I bet it'll not so let's test the movie out a control enter let me double click and uh, absolutely nothing is happening right that's because guys uh, whenever we are working with the double click event we need to enable the double click and let's see how we can do that in line number 12 let me type MC dot double click enabled is equal to true right so unless I uh, unless and until I enable the double click the following code will be rendered useless will not make uh, any sense right so let's test it out now and again guys uh, if you notice if I click on the child movie clip the one that's inside the darker movie clip the double click is still not honored but if I, if I click on that uh, bordered you know the outer movie clip the parent movie clip if I double click on that I can actually see the message I've been clicked which means that uh, we still have an aberration and guys it's, it's pretty much the same that we had talked about that's because uh, 
what I need to do is I just need to add a single line out here which says uh, mc dot uh, mouse children is equal to false and uh, that will render the MC as if it does not have any children movie clip inside and uh, that should take care of the, the small problem that we just faced. Let me con uh, hit control enter and test it out this time. So guys no matter where I click on the movie clip now as long as it's a, a rapid double click it will display the message uh, which says uh, I've been clicked. So guys uh, I hope that I've conveyed the difference between uh, a mouse uh, you know a rollover and a mouse over as well as uh, how to enable a double click and uh, just in case your movie clip is a little complex like mine where we have a movie clip inside a movie clip it's always a good idea to keep uh, the mouse children equal to false so guys uh, I hope you like this tutorial I'll see you very soon uh, with yet another